We have reached the light at the end of what's been a long tunnel called winter. Conditions are improving, but we're still dealing with fallout from what Old Man Winter delivered yesterday and today. As you plan for tomorrow morning, let's find out what's going on outside right now. Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro joins us live with the latest. Joshua? Mike and Andrew, one of the casualties from Old Man Winter is that the interstates remain closed. We were told earlier today that the interstates will not reopen until at least tomorrow morning. So that means that those planning to travel out here uh, for work, it should be clear by then. But another issue that we've come across, we learned, is that snow plows are finally out in the streets and adding pool and adding pulling water to the list of winter hassles in the Red River Valley. Now in Fargo several plows were diverted from street cleaning to drain clearing. Some drains are frozen over while others are covered with so much snow. Fargo Public Works says there's not much homeowners can do and that they're getting and that they're getting to them as quickly as possible. They say that they're not concerned that the street flooding will impact homes. For drivers keep in mind that the flooding also covers potholes. Be careful and go slowly through the water to avoid hitting a hole hard. Again, stick with us at valuenewslive.com. Uh, we'll continue to update uh, when the interstates open um, again on our website. Reporting live along Interstate 29 North in Fargo, Joshua Pagero, Valley News Live. All right, thanks, Joshua. Keep in mind if you're caught driving on a closed road in North Dakota, you could be fined up to 250 bucks. In Minnesota, the fine jumps to $1,000 and possible jail time.